Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, December 9. It's the second week in Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 38, Matthew 23, verse 1 to 12. And please join me in singing the first verse of Comfort, Comfort, Ye My People. Comfort, comfort ye my people, speak ye peace, thus saith our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, mourning neath their sorrows load. Speak ye to Jerusalem, of the peace that waits for them. Tell her that her sins I cover, and her warfare now is Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O God, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Psalm 38, and please recite it with me. O God, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows stick fast in me, and your hand presses me down. My body is sick because of your anger. There is no rest in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities are piled higher than my head. A heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my own foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my frame is filled with a loathsome disease. And all my body is sick. I am feeble and crushed. I cry aloud in anguish of heart. My God, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart pants and my strength fails. And as for the light of my eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends avoid me like a leper, and my family stands afar. And they that seek my life lay snares, and they that seek my hurt speak harmful things, and plot against me all the day long. But I, like the deaf, did not hear, and I, like the mute, did not speak. Thus I was like one who hears nothing, and in whose mouth there is no defense. For in you, O God, I hope, you will hear me, my God. Hear me, lest they rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they triumph against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I confess my iniquity, and I am sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively and strong. Many are they that hate me wrongfully. They repay me evil for good, because I seek what is right. Forsake me not, O God. My God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me. O God of my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O God, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 23, verse 1. And then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplace, 
and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, make haste to help us. Hear our prayer and forgive us our sins and offenses as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>